Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakadash. Okay. Double honors to elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. All right. Peace and salutations. Okay. The name of this uh, the name of this video is going to be called Trick Not Treat. Trick Not Treat. Okay. Because it was all a trick. You know, what they out here doing and promoting out here is wickedness. Okay. You shouldn't be dressing up like no gremlin. Okay. You shouldn't be out here looking like no gremlin. Okay. You shouldn't be out here celebrating, uh, you know, shallow ween. Okay. There ain't nothing holy about that day. Okay. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, okay. I said all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father's name. His name ain't, it's not Yahweh, it's not Yehovah, it's not Jehovah, okay? Because the, all these vows that we have in this modern language and in modern Hebrew, those, those vows didn't exist in, in Paleo Hebrew. They didn't exist in uh, ancient Hebrew, okay? Uh... I said all praise to Yahweh, to the Heavenly Father's name. Okay. If you if you uh take you remember uh, it says Y H W H like Yahweh whatever, but the only vowel there was was A, like the alphabet goes A Ba Ga Da Ha Wa Za and so forth and so on. Okay. So uh, so uh. His name is Yahweh. That's the Heavenly Father's name. Okay. Bahashim means in the name. Okay. And Yahweh Shai is the one and only begotten son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay. His name is Jesus. Okay. It's not Oesus or Eosus. In Greek, his name was Yahweh Shai. And, that, and that's, uh, and that's uh, where your power comes from when you call on the name of the Lord. Okay. Uh, uh, it's still, I'm roughly paraphrasing here. I believe in the psalm. It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Those who run into it are safe. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Just like uh, you hear the alphabet, uh, the modern, uh, the, 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 the J double O's, okay. The ish people, the small hats, 1948ers. Okay, they say it's the Aleph bet. That's why we have the A and the Ba, okay, A and the B, okay, the alphabet, okay. But yeah, the name of this lesson is going to be called uh, Trick, not Treat. Because uh, we got Jake out here, we got the C to Jacob out here. All you Israelites, you Native Americans, like you Native Americans, you uh, <clears throat> Salakia. Salakia means. Uh, excuse me, or uh, forgive me. Okay, uh, slot for the uh, notifications in the background. Okay, so uh, yeah, all this wickedness going on out here. We got Jake, the, the seed of Jacob, which Jacob, you know, if you read in Genesis, he fought with the angel of the Lord all night, and after afterward, he was named Israel, which is. In the ancient Hebrew, Yashar Allah. Okay, not Yisrael, okay? Like a lot of these Hebrews out here say Yisrael or Yashar El, okay? There was no there was no E's, okay? There was no O's. Okay, there was no J's. Yah meaning he, okay, Yashar Allah, right? Yah meaning he, Shar meaning prince, and Allah meaning God or power, okay? Not what those Muslims are talking about, okay? The Muslims uh, say Allah, you know, A-L-L-A-H or whatever, okay? But in ancient Hebrew, it's A-H-L-A, okay? Some people might spell A-H-L-A-H, okay? But that simply means power, okay? Uh, and I'll give you an example with this scripture right here. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 21. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech. Okay. 
away, neither shall thou profane the name of thy power. You see that? How it's spelled, God, okay, with capital G, okay? okay. Neither shall thou profane the name of thy power. And it says, I am the Lord. When it says the Lord, all capital like that, it's talking about the Heavenly Father's name. I am Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And the reason why we say that is because you can't come to the Father without uh, giving reverence. You know, uh, coming through Yahweh Shah, his one and only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay? Now, this is a precept I'm going to use for this, uh, for this lesson. And it's, uh, it's about this... Uh, this day that everybody's getting ready for tomorrow, you know, not knowing that it has many, uh, many other names for this day. It's a wicked, dark, dark time for a lot of people. I mean, for a lot of uh, like evildoers, okay? And they're celebrating, okay? It's also known as the Witch's Sabbath, okay? You know, that, what, what an abomination that is. The Witch's Sabbath, okay? You know, the, uh, the scriptures tell us here in the book of Leviticus, uh, uh, keep my Sabbath, you know, keep it holy. It tells us to be perfect. It tells us to be holy. Holy means set apart. Okay, we're a set apart people. Uh, Yashar Allah, he prints God or he prints with power. That means um, that we're the, we're the chosen people. Okay, there's one seed that was chosen. It was the seed of Jacob, okay? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? These are set-apart people. Okay? Now, two-thirds of Yasharala, which is Israel, the Israelites, they're wicked. Okay? They're all getting ready to have Walmart down there. You know? They out here, they got people out here right now trying to figure out a costume to disguise themselves as. Okay? Guising. Remember that. We're going to get into it right now. Because that's what you're doing when you're when you're you're giving your kids over to Molech, okay, putting them through the fire when you when you celebrate these these pagan holidays, okay, the word holiday is really derived from holy day, okay. There's holy days that we're supposed to keep, and we don't keep none from here. And I'm not speaking for everybody, but I'm speaking for the majority majority of Israel, majority of Jake. They're not keeping a, a high holy day. How about me? I was shocked, okay. So we supposed to keep this. We supposed to keep it holy. Okay, we got holidays to. We got holy days to. Uh, we got holy days every month. Okay, and that's the Sabbath. We supposed to keep it holy on a Sabbath day. Okay, and that's another topic for another day. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, you're giving your child over to Molech when you're uh, when you're celebrating these things. We're gonna jump right into it. Let's jump right into it. Okay, uh, I got this uh, Wikipedia app. You know, you can learn a lot on Wikipedia. You don't have to get the app, but you can just go on the website and, uh, and learn, okay? Let's jump right into it. Okay, so lock you, bear with me. Okay, phone computer right now for some reason. But yeah. Okay, Samhain or Samhain, you know? It's a Gaelic, a Gaelic uh, festival marking the start of winter. Okay, they call it. Uh, well, I'll get into it. Samhain or Samween. Okay, it's an Irish term. Okay, is a Gaelic uh, festival marking the end of the harvest season and beginning of winter or darker half. There's another name it goes by. You know this Shalloween. Okay. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, there's a, they call it the witch's Sabbath, okay, which is an abomination, okay? That's an abomination to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the Most High God, okay? Marking uh, uh, the beginning of winter or darker half of the year, it is held on November, on the 1st of November, but with celebrations beginning on the evening of the 31st of October, since the Celtic Day. Now let's get that real quick. Let's get that Celtic Day. Okay. <clears throat> it's lucky. I don't know why my uh, phone is uh, kind of tripping out right now. Okay. The Celtic calendar 
is a compilation of pre-Christian Celtic systems of timekeeping, including the Gaulish colony calendar used by Celtic countries to define the beginning and length of the day, the week, the month, the season, quarters, quarter days and festivals, which really we should be using that to uh, to know when the Sabbath is. OK, we should be using about the sun, star and the moon. OK, all that that we're learning the geometry and math and stuff We that we should be using that to know when to keep the holy days of your how about shot. OK. Uh, Salakia, okay, October 31st, since the Celtic day, okay, began and ended at sunset. This is about halfway between the autumn equinox and the winter solstice. It is one of the four Gaelic se uh, seasonal festivals along with the Imboke, Beltane, and uh, Lugnasa. Historically, it was widely observed throughout Ireland, Scotland, okay, and the Isle of Man where it it is spelled Sawin. okay a similar festival was held by the britain celtic people called kellengaif okay? no, i'm probably not pronouncing a lot of this right in wales kellengwaf in cornwall and Kalan. okay but let's get let's get to the main thing of this okay okay the Samhain is believed to have celtic pagan origins okay okay now let's get this so pagan okay ancient celtic religion is Paganism, right? Ancient Celtic religion, commonly known as Celtic paganism, was the religion of the ancient Celtic peoples of Europe. Okay. Now we know that we had Israelites that ran Europe. Okay, but that's a different topic for a different day. These are talking about these Edomites. Okay. You saw Edom, the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man. Okay, because the ancient Celts did not have writing evidence about their religion. It, oh, so lucky. Evidence about their religion is gleaned from archaeology. Hmm. And, and I haven't pre I haven't pre read this. I skimmed through it and saw some things. You know, this is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hopefully, it's edifying. Okay. Greco Rome. Uh, so uh, Okay. Yeah. Greco Roman accounts. Okay. In literature from the early Christian period. Okay. Celtic paganism was was one of a larger group of Iron Age. Uh polytheistic religions of Europe okay it varied by region and over time but underlying this were broad structural similarities and a basic religious homogeneity among the Celtic people okay Let's bear with me here okay it just pisses me off to still you know see Jake out here you know Celebrating this thing, you got all these so called woke people knowing that we the Hebrew Israelites, but you still celebrating these pagan holidays. You know, it, it's upsetting, okay? It's irritating, okay? Uh, okay, quick facts you know, Samain, Samain is believed to have Celtic pagan origins in some Neolithic passage tombs in Ireland are aligned with the sunrise at the time of Samain, okay? Now this is a ritual they do. They all go over there, and uh, they all go praise that. It's a, a passage grave or passage tomb consists of one or more burial chambers covered in earth or stone and having a narrow access passage made of large stones. These structures usually date from the Neolithic age and are found largely in Western Europe. Okay, I'm not gonna read all that because this would get very tedious if I do read this whole thing. I'm gonna try to skim through it. Okay, but hold on before I go over there. Let me go back to this uh back to this Bible real quick and get you guys another precept, okay? We're not supposed to follow the ways of the heathen, okay? Uh let me go to Leviticus chapter 20. Yep, Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 2. Okay. As it reads, again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, this is Moses, you know. Uh, I mean, this is the most high speaking of Moses. You know, Moses went up on a mountain for 40 days and 40 nights, got the law, statutes, and commandments from the most high God of Israel, okay? The God of Yasharala, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. He said to Moses, Say, uh, uh, Salakia, again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel. See, this whole Bible was talking to the children of Israel. It's only for Yasharala, it's only for the Israelites, okay? 
we can't expect for some Edomite, Ishmaelite, or any other heathen nation to to uh to lead us, okay? Or 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 deliver us uh the word because they don't even understand. It's not for them, okay? The spirit, okay, it was written through the spirit, okay, through the inspiration of Yahweh Shai. Okay? So they're not gonna understand it. You know, Edomites will not understand it. Only Israelites will understand it. Okay. The, the wicked won't, you know, the two thirds probably won't. Okay? Because they're not taking heed. It says, and thou shalt, again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, whosoever he be of the children of Israel, whoever they are, right? Whoever the children of Israel are, okay? Or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto the Molech, okay? He shall surely be put to death, right? So you guys want to hear celebrating these, uh, these pagan holidays, which I don't like to call them holidays because that's derived from holy day, and that's definitely not a holy day. You know, this whole world is Halloween. So wait, what you going to uh, go celebrate that day for, okay? To keep the dark energy, okay? To keep wickedness uh, going on, okay? To pay the white man, to pay Esau and Edom, to give all your money back, okay? Yeah, you shouldn't give any of your seed unto Molech. He shall surely be put to death. See, this is worthy of death, which, what was going on. You guys celebrating these pagan holidays, worthy of death. The people of the land shall stone him with stone. Okay? Let's get to the treaty part of this, okay? Because uh, you're giving your kids over to Molech like when you have your kids go knock on that door and saying trick or treat. Okay, a lot of you guys don't know, you know, which I didn't know. Uh, the elder, uh, elder Kazak, okay, uh, priest Kazak, you know, down in Memphis, Memphis camp. He made a video the other day, which inspired me to do this. Okay, the beloved elder brother. Okay, uh, you can look up his page. It's called GMS Page Master. Okay, and I'll show you it too, man. The brother be going. In, okay. And the spirit is all on it, on that guy. Okay, let me get that. Let me get his page real quick. Okay, just so you guys can see it and have it. Oh, Salakia, bear with me. My phone is really kind of bugging out right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just bear with me, you know. Bear with me real quick. Subscribe to this page, you know. Okay. It's the brother's page right here, the elder brother, Priest Kazak. Okay. GMS Page Master. He goes, as a matter of fact, I'll try to show you the video that he just did. You know. Because he goes, he, 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 I think it was this one. We need salvation from this nightmare. And yeah, it's it's a nightmare. Okay. We're already in Halloween. This is Halloween. Okay. It's wicked. And the days get worse. Okay. The days get worse. Let's get right back over here. Uh, wickedness like you never seen before. The early literature, okay, uh, says Samain was marked by great gatherings and feasts, okay? They're having a feast, uh, you know, a bullshit feast, okay? It's not according to the scriptures. You want to learn the feast of the Lord, go read the first five books, okay? The feast, uh, I believe it's in uh, Leviticus, right? Uh, okay, we're going to go down a little bit. You know, they do the bonfires, okay? Uh, the spirits are fairy, fairies, okay? Uh, mumming, let's, let's start right here, what says mumming, okay? Let's get that definition real quick, uh, or a little script on it. To see what that's all about. Right? Mummers play, you see this? You see this wickedness? Mummers play. Our folk, our folk plays performed by troops of amateur actors, traditionally all male, known as mummers or geysers, okay? When you got your kids going out there celebrating this thing and dressing up, they're geysing, okay? Historically, mummers, mummers' plays consist of informal groups of costume community members that visited the house, uh, that visited from house to house on various holidays. Today, the term refers especially to a play in which a number of 
of characters are called on stage, two of whom engage in combat, the loser being revived by a doctor character. Okay, this play is sometimes found associated with a sword dance, though both also exist in Britain independently. Okay, that wasn't really edifying, but it might be, okay? Mumming and guising, okay? All right, trick or treating, okay? Trick or treating is a traditional Halloween custom for children and adults in some countries during the evening of Halloween on October 31st. Children in costumes travel, right? They go walking from house to house asking for treats with the phrase trick or treat. Okay, so this is the part right here. The treat is some form of confectionery, usually candy, okay? Although in some cultures, money is given instead. The trick refers to a threat. Usually idle, uh, so lucky. The trick refused to a, a threat. So it, it went right past this trick or treat, right? But you don't know. You there? You got your kids going knocking on their door. Don't 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 don't. They're saying, is it a trick, or is it a treat? Okay, because if you trick me, right? We're gonna uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do some type of uh, weirdo stuff. Okay, uh, you know. You guys get what I'm saying? They, they might throw, you know, bomb the house, light the house, and put gas around the house, whatever. Okay, light it on fire, whatever. Okay, go kidnap, whatever. Okay, I'll read it. The trick refers to a threat, usually idle, to perform mischief on the residence or the property if no treat is given. Some people signal that they are willing to hand out treats by putting up Halloween decorations outside their doors. See? Houses may also see. Wow, some people signal that they are willing to hand out treats by putting up Halloween decorations outside their doors. What does that tell you, man? You got you got some people who don't even celebrate it, don't care about it, right? And uh, or you know, ain't got the money to do it, whatever. But ultimately, they're not. Maybe because the spirit and power of Yahweh, spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh is with that family or whatever. Okay, and you're targeted. Okay, you don't know they they could be marking you guys, marking your house or whatever. But that don't mean go ahead and and, and 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 light your house up like you know a damn ornament with ornaments and costumes and all this and all that. Like you guys see all around right now, people are going crazy with this. It's ridiculous. Okay, the trick refers to a threat, usually idle, to perform mischief on the residents or residences or their property if no treat is given. Some people signal that they are willing to hand out trees by putting up Halloween decorations outside their doors. Houses may also leave their porch lights on as a universal indicator that they have candy. Some simply leave treats available on their porches for the children to take freely on the honor system, right? Let's look at this. Look at a couple of these pictures. I found my little seat on this beautiful tree. Yeah, I'll just lean on it right here. Hopefully, I don't fall off of this. All right, you see this? Okay. The Christian practice of souling All Hallows' Eve, also known as Halloween. In an English town, the photograph is taken from St. Nicholas, an illustrated magazine for young folks. December 1882, page 33, the magazine states that the rich gave soul cakes. Right, let's get that. Soul cake, right? You see this? A soul cake, also known as soul mass cake, is a, a small round cake which is traditionally made for Halloween, All Saints' Day, and All Souls' Day to commemorate the dead in many Christian traditions. Did the, did the scriptures tell you to commemorate the dead? Uh, uh, let me know. because I ain't see it in there. Okay? The cakes often simply referred to as souls, right? That candy that you're going to get represents you're doing a ritual when you do this, okay? You got your kids performing rituals, giving your kid over the mullet, okay? When you're doing this, okay? The cake often rep uh salakia. The, the cakes often simply referred to as souls are given. See, they refer to as souls are given out to solars who go from door to door during the days of all hallows tide. Another name: singing and saying prayers. Chicken cheese, smell my me, blah 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 blah. Eat, okay. That that's, you know what you're doing. You're chanting, okay. That's a prayer. You're not chanting to the Yahweh. You're not uh praying to Yahweh. You're not saying Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh, okay. Which are uh I don't even like to say chant, okay. 
which are holy things to say to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. Okay. Uh, for the souls of the givers and their friends. Okay. See, they're, they're consulting, consulting with the dead. Let's go back to the Bible. Okay. My phone really acting up right now. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So I'm really acting stupid right now. Just bear with me. <clears throat> okay. Just bear with me. Bear with me one moment. Maybe two moments. Yeah, I, but I don't know what's going on with this phone right now. I ain't never had this type of problem. Okay. Jimmy, I'll show you. His spirit gave it back to me. Okay. All right. It's a lot here for all the noise in the background. Okay. I'm going to go back up this mountain. Okay. Okay. This is in the Bible. You should be doing this type of stuff. Okay. This is Leviticus 19, verse 31. Regard not them that have familiar spirits. Going back to a, a, a medium or some saying, oh, you know, I need you to call my grandma and ask this and that. So regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, your power. OK, I am the Lord, your God. OK. Okay, this is Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 6. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them. Hey, you're, you're, you're called a whore. Most high, most high God is calling you a whore by going after these uh, wizards and mediums and diviners and, 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 and magicians. Okay? Okay? He calls you a whore. You're cheating on him. Okay, he's a jealous God. He wants you to serve him. And you got people saying, oh, I don't believe that God will give you rules to tell you to be like this and act like that. Well, to that, okay? You're wicked. You're the two thirds. You're going down, buddy. You're going down, okay? It's his will, not your will. You don't get to say, you don't get to choose what kind of pot you were made, okay? If he makes you a pot, that has holes in it, well, hey, you just got holes in it. You can't hold water. You can't hold the truth. Okay? That's why he made you like that. He knew you before you were born right here. Okay? To go or whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul. See, the Most High set his face against you, which means he's going to put it all against you. Go back to the curses. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Everything that you put your hand to do. You put your hand to, to do this. You put your hand to do that. You might have the most brilliant idea, okay? You might have the best uh, business plan. As soon as you get involved in it, it all goes wrong, okay? Oh, yeah, you might get, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to go there, okay? You got to sell drugs or whatever. Hey, you eventually going to give all that money back to a lawyer if you don't get robbed and murdered for the drugs or, you know, you don't go, you know, you know, lose your whole family behind it, kids go to CPS or whatnot, okay, so forth and so on, so forth and so on, okay, you do, you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you're not keeping the word, trying to hearken unto the voice of the most high God of Israel, which is the creator of all things, okay, so he's gonna, everything that you put your hand to do, so like everything that you put your hand to do, he gonna set his face against you, he gonna shut you down, buddy, Okay. Let's get back over here. Bear with me. 
my phone really tripping. It's probably because I have this camera on right now. Just giving it the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the cakes refer to, you know, souls. You know, you got your kids going over there, knocking door to door, which are soldiers, right? Okay. For the souls of the givers and their friends, especially the souls of deceased relatives, familiar spirits, right? Thought to be in purgatory. Okay. The practice in England dates to the medieval period. Blah, 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 blah. You get the point. Here, I'll show you some of the pictures. Okay. This is the candy your kids are going to get. Okay. You, you're sending your kids out to go get, see? Jack o' lantern. Right? Okay. Wow. Silhouette of a person. In the fire, You're giving your kids. Hey, don't give your kids through the fire. Over them. Don't put your kids through uh, through the fire and give them. You're giving them over to Molek. Okay. A bobbing apples, right? You guys doing that on uh, birthday parties? Don't you guys know that celebrating a birthday? And I'm gonna go off a little kid, a little bit. I'll be back. Celebrating birthdays is the highest form of satanic worship. Okay, you celebrating your birthday is called self worship. They have this uh, book, okay, called the Unholy Bible, right? Mm, I think it's page 86. I don't I remember, you know, I'm, I don't study that book. But, you know, brothers went into it before. And, uh, yeah, celebrating your birthday is self-worship. Ah, oh, it's my birthday. I can woman if I want to. Oh, it's my birthday. They don't tell me what to do. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yourself, you're doing self-worship. It's the highest form of, uh, of of Satanism. The highest form of, you know, witchcraft. Of Satanism. Okay. Okay, those are the pictures on that. Okay. Yep. So, okay. Okay, back out of there. Trick or treating, right? Some people, okay. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, let me get into these precepts, man. Uh, you know, I've been kind of ranting. If you excuse me on that, I'm going to bring these precepts out. Scriptures, these commands, okay? These, uh, this medicine, right? Let's go over here. Put this back down here. That back down here over to Proverbs chapter 3, okay, in verse 31, okay, it's, as it reads, it says, envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways, Salakia, yeah. okay, you're not supposed to envy him, okay, you're not supposed to choose none of his ways, okay, I was just talk, talking to a chick down here at the park, man. It's a shame. You know, the dude says he do this, whatever, he believes in this and that. You know, he believes something, something like, man, you just, you're everywhere, you're bugged out. Okay? And then you could tell he was on that side and all that. Broken wrist nation. Okay? Because it was a dude that I was working with. I saw him when I was coming to the park, and this is who he was talking to, and I was talking to him. His father had just passed, you know, uh, uh, when was at work on a uh, Thursday or something, the week before last. But anyway, you know, he was right there. He, dude's bugged out. Okay, he and he said something, basically saying, you know, like how we we we. He just bugged out, but he said something that you know, uh, we want to be like them. Which is, yeah, that's what's wrong with you two thirds. You guys want to be like them, okay? And you're not them, and most high is punishing you. And that's where it came from. I said. Uh, he would be like, oh, I don't, he said this. Oh, I don't believe there's a God that could give us commandments, rules, you know, how to be, you know, I just, that positive chunk, you know, okay, he's lost, okay, I spoke my piece, you know, I dusted, I shook the dust off my feet, kept it pushing, okay, so envy not uh, uh, Esau, okay, you know, because I got, you know, I tried to use the uh, Kanye West thing situation, you know, to make a point, which I did, 
you know how Jake don't want to listen to uh, the bum camp, the, the faith-based camp, right? That's a compliment. Thank you for complimenting us. Yeah, we do this thing in faith. Faith without works is dead. Okay, the law is not dead. Okay, it's impossible for us to keep all of the law, but we're supposed to keep the law, right, to the best of our abilities. And we're supposed to have faith in the Hamashiach. How do you have faith in the Hamashiach? Yahweh Shai? Okay, you go out here and, 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 and to the highways and the hedges. Okay, you go out to the highways and the hedges. Let me get James chapter 2 real quick. Yeah, James chapter 2, verse 17. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Okay? You, you got a lot of these Christian people out here, man, saying, oh, I got faith, oh, just, just let the Lord deal with it. In half faith. What you just gonna sit there? Uh, I'm not doing anything, right? No. What you gonna do about it? You gotta go out to the highways and the hedges. Let me get that. You gotta go out to the highways and hedges. Bear with me. This phone kind of acting up. Okay. Highway. Head, head is, right? Okay, this is Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Hey man, y'all out here celebrating this uh, trick or treat, whatever. Hey, you're not in the house. You're not in runs house. <laughs> okay? You're not in who runs this whole thing. You're not in his house. Okay? You got to be in the house to get for the safety. Okay? You got you to gotta call on the true names of the Lord. Okay? The true name of the Heavenly Father and the true name of the, his one and only begotten Son, which is Yahweh. Wah, Yahweh Shai. Wah means and. So, which is Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai, okay? You got to call on those names. Those who call on, 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 let me get that. Okay, I want to butcher it. I said it earlier. Strong. Okay, let me see. Okay, here's this Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. I think I said it was in Psalms. So lucky for that. Okay, forgive me. Okay, this is Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, okay? The name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. Ain't it a tower up here somewhere? Nope. Down there. See that? See that tower? Oh, right there. See a little tower? Okay. The name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe, okay? You got to come in the house. Okay? Yeah. You got to come in the house. If you're not in the house, how are you going to be saved? Okay? It's raining outside. It's thundering outside. It's tempestuous winds outside. It's, uh, it's, it's storming outside. Okay? It's danger outside. Okay? We lock the door. We, 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 we close the door at night and we lock the doors. Right? So we safe. Okay, a sense of safety. Now there may be earthquakes. Okay, you might get shook up a little bit in the faith. You might fall. Okay, okay you run your ass outside. Okay, the boogeyman gonna get you. Okay, hey, that's an inside joke. Uh, let's get the next one. It's the book of Exodus. Oh, uh, before I go there, let me get Jeremiah. Okay, because I didn't write that one down. Let me get Jeremiah chapter ten. Okay. Get your mind up. Where you at? 
Jeremiah chapter 10. All right. It says, Hear ye as it reads from the top, Jeremiah chapter 10, starting at verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. See? Proving again that, you know, this thing is for the Israelites. This, this book was written by the Israelites through the uh, inspiration of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Thus says Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? You're not supposed to learn the way of these people, man. You're supposed to go back to your heritage, your true heritage. You're supposed to go back to your culture. Okay? Not occult. We ain't no occult when you're going out there doing the Halloween stuff. You're, you're making yourself part of their occult. Okay? You're performing their their uh, their ways. Okay? And be di be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a UFO. Oh, my. Oh, what is that? Oh, the sun is red. Okay? No. You're supposed to rejoice. We see, we see the chariots of the Lord over us. You know, when I saw it, I first saw it, I only saw it one time. Okay, but when I saw it, man, I all pray to you, I was shy. I was shy, shy, man. Started recording it. Okay? It, it boosted my faith. Okay? Now, the heathens, they see these signs coming. Oh, man. This, this Bible thing, is, hey, everything is playing out. It's like a big old movie. It's like a movie. Everything that was scripted, you know how they make movies and the directors give everybody here. Here's your script, okay? Here's your script, okay? And here's your script, okay? We, we're over here reading the script right now, okay? So this is this difference between false prophets. I'm going a little off again. The difference between false prophets and the true prophets of the Lord. The true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai speaks according to this Bible, man. Uh, with Lil Wayne say, fuck your feelings, okay? Nigga, fuck your feelings, okay? We going off the scripture, it cuts me sometimes, okay? But if it didn't cut me, man, I ain't got that spirit, okay? You ain't got the spirit if you ain't getting cut. If you get cut, just like I have to try to tell the dude, you know, trying to win souls over, okay? Trying to win over the gainsayers, okay? Trying to persuade them to the truth, okay? But we got Esau with all his magic and his sorceries. He's persuading people, he's persuading Israel to do wickedness, okay? Verse 2 again from the top. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Thus says, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, the heathen are the other nations, okay? Yeah, the chosen nation was Yasharala, okay? These are the chosen people of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. They marvel at that. Marvel sitcom, okay? What do you think all those uh, characters in Marvel was all about, man? Really talking about the Israelites, man. The 144,000 is stepping into this truth. Got spiritual power, dude. Yeah, I'll be using all type of terms sometimes. Okay, because I'm trying not to cuss so much. You know, some people just get turned off by that. You know, I try to have fair speech. Right? Verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. See, their customs are vain. Okay? What are you, do you know what you're doing when you're out here celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christopher Columbus Day? Okay? Thanksgiving? Do you know what you, Christ Moss? Do you know what that means? You're, 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 you're worshiping Caesar Borgia. In case you don't know who Caesar Borgia is, that's the Pope. One of the old Pope. His son. That they made the image of, of the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's who Jesus Christ is, okay? Caesar Bourget, that, that 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 white dude with the picture on, you know, you know, the rock star dude with the long hair, look like yeah, dude, yeah, that dude, okay. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, they cut a tree out of it, right? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe, okay. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. <laughs> they are upright up the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be they must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. Okay. 
They ain't doing no good. I mean, you guys out here, uh, uh, you know, I'm not saying everyone, you know, I'm not saying you in particular, but I'm saying Jake, man, Jake out here, you know, and we call Jake, you know, uh, we call the seed of Israel, you know, Jacob, we call him Jake, you know, I'm a Jake, you a Jake, okay? So don't take it offensively. Jake out here, uh, sowing, sowing, uh, the flesh, sowing into the flesh. Okay, you give more power to the demon, which is fine. Hurry up, keep doing it then. That's what you want to do. It. All right, we kick, we, we, we kick the dust. We slap the dust off our feet. Keep it pushing in this thing, okay? Still rolling. We looking at your house, we're looking at your house, we're looking at we walking on water around here, okay? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 2. Exodus is the in the law, okay? The first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. This is the book of the law, okay? Some people say the law of Moses is the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which he gave to Moses, okay? Which was a prophet, okay? Our big brother, one of our big brothers, okay? Exodus 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You see that? They doing evil, man. They got this big old rave going down uh, here in San Bernardino, California. Okay? We got a big old rave that was last night and the night before. So we just witnessed it. It felt like, felt like some type of movie out here, man. And it ain't, it ain't stop. Okay? It's Halloween every day. But, you know, they brought more, you know, wickedness, you know, over here, which is, you know, do what y'all do. We don't care. Okay? Yeah. We, we want to see this thing play out. Okay? This is why the difference between the true prophets of the Lord, we, we speak of the scripture, man. We speak of what our feelings all know. But I got a white friend. Hey, man, you don't even know what you talk about. This dude could be an Israelite. Okay? Not all people that look white are Edomites. Okay? They could be an Israelite. You can kind of tell who the Israelites are, man. If they look like the Edomites, is he walking in pride? Is he prideful? Okay? Is he, is he humbling himself? Is he taking heed to the scriptures? Okay? Are they, are they, are they hearing the scripture? Are they boring you? Are they, are they coming up against it? Because you got you got these so-called Negroes. You think he's black? He really is mine. You can tell he's, uh, okay, that could be the two thirds too. Okay? But, you know, some of them are, are Edomites or Ishmaelites, Moabites, or Japheth, or Hamites. Okay? These are all the heathen nations. Okay? Don't, 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 uh, don't envy the heathen, okay? You you shouldn't want what they got going on. This ain't our kingdom. This ain't our rest, okay? Uh, yeah, that's what it was on here, too. Uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10, okay? We're going to get that next. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. So, man. Y'all can't be following these people, man. Everything they got going on in the world that they say is okay, okay? They say it's okay, they're pushing this law and that law. This is okay, but that's not okay. Hey, if they say that shit is okay, we should run, run from fast. What was that in the book of Sirach? Flee from sin like from a serpent, okay? Are you supposed to run from that? You shouldn't be uh, following these people, man. Everybody trying to uh, uh, elder Manatazak, okay? Uh, GMS narrators, uh, uh, GMS narrator SC7, that's his page, okay? The beloved elder, okay? Manatazak, he said, what'd he say? Uh, it slipped my mind. Okay, uh, serpent, serpent, flee, okay? Okay, there it is. The book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach. Okay, chapter 21, verse 2. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. Okay, supposed to, hey, hold on. No, no, I don't want nothing to do with that. Okay, you don't have to be like, oh, fuck you, nigga, I ain't doing that. Oh, hell no. Nah. Nigga, that's pecking holiday. Oh, no, thank you, man. You at work, whatever. They try to do a Christmas dinner, whatever. Okay. Oh, no, uh, Elder Manatza said that too, you know. Okay, uh, you know, as you would from a snake. They try to offer you some pork chops, whatever, you know. You know, uh, some bacon and cheeseburgers. Okay, ham burger. Okay, ham ain't, ham ain't, that's a cow. Why y'all name it ham burger? Okay. 
flee from uh, sin as from the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. See? It's they slaying your souls when you go out here following this damn devil. Okay? That serpent, you know what that serpent is in the Bible? That serpent is Esau. Okay? It's a nation of people. Okay? Esau, Edom. That's who the serpent in the Bible is. It's not no real snake. Like, oh, Eve went and saw a snake. Oh, yeah, man, it's a snake. Oh, it started talking to the snake. No. It's Christianity got, got got us bugged out. You know, not not everybody, you know. But, you know, speaking of Israel, you know, it was bugged out in this Christianity. It was taught false names and false doctrines. Okay? They slam your souls. You go over here, you come near this uh, Halloween stuff. You go trick or treating. That's playing with you. Playing with fire. You kissing. Hey, you're kissing. Uh, you're kissing the serpent. When you're doing it, all this stuff they're saying is okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yes, I'm just following the law. Nah, man, we know that's a complete abomination, man. That's blasphemy. Okay? It's okay for your, your, your little boy to be like, oh, I'm a girl, or vice versa. Okay? Now they're putting all these uh, ordinances and statutes and laws in front of us, before us, saying, you know, if you try to whip your kid, you know, you go to jail. If you try to tell your kid that they're a boy and they want to say that they're a girl, okay, and he's supposed to like girls, you, you know, probably get your kid snatched from you, CPS case, and, you know, probably get sued. I mean, it's coming down. The famine of the word is coming. We see it. We see it coming. It's coming. They finna take this Bible away, okay? They finna take it away. That's why we gotta read this thing so we can know which way to go. We can know who uh who, who to follow. So that uh, you know, the spirit be honest to you know do what's pleasing to Yahweh Shimmy Hawa Shai. Okay? We gotta do what's pleasing to Yahweh Ba Shimmy Hawa Shai. The foolishness of us preaching is pleasing to Yahweh Ba Shimmy Hawa Shai. He calls us preaching foolishness. But hey, this is what pleases him. So hey, we all we go to the highways and hedges and and, and, and deliver this truth and prescribe it to you, man. Hey, they say, oh, Luke was a physician. You know, that's something they taught in the Christian church. You know. But who the true physicians? Who the who the true, you know, uh uh healers? Okay? Yahweh. Wow, Shem Yahweh Shai. Let me get that. Uh Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39 real quick. Okay. Can't get enough of this scripture. Call all your about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. That's the spirit. Okay. It says, uh, uh, this is, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. This is the most high speaking, man. It says, see now that I, even I am he. He's saying, I'm that, I'm that nigga. <laughs> I'm that nigga. Nigga. Right? He said, okay, not to call the most high nigga. Okay, it's like you, okay? But, you know, I'm just trying to get y'all to understand. He's saying, I'm the one, and there is no God with me, okay? He says, I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. So, you know, all this stuff happening to you. Oh, yeah, it's the devil. It's the devil. No, it ain't the devil, man. It's Yahabashim, Yahushai, okay? He has left-hand power, and he has right-hand power, okay? We know that Yahushai sits on the right hand of Yahweh. Okay, we know that Yahweh We know that Yahweh Shai sits on the right hand of Yahweh. Okay, he sits on the right hand of the Most High. Okay, and his holy angels over there on the right side. Okay, on the left side. Okay, he doesn't say it in the scriptures, but you know the scriptures teach us that the left hand side is you know his uh, uh the angel of death. Okay, okay, all his dark angels, all his all his dark powers. Okay, that's on the left hand of Yahweh. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay, you can come up with the biggest master plan. Okay, Jake, but it ain't gonna work because you ain't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. If you how about you ain't walking in this truth. You ain't doing the works. Okay, show me your faith without works, and I'm gonna show you my faith by my works. Okay, let me get Amos. Amos chapter 5 and verse 21. This is the book of the prophet Amos chapter 5 and verse 21. Okay. It says, 
I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies, okay? Now, you know, when we out here on the street corners, you know, preaching, okay, on the highways and the byways and the hedges, right? When we out here doing this foolish thing of preaching, that's a sweet aroma through the, through the, through the nostrils of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad, man. But he's saying he hates their fe feast days. Their feast days is bush. Okay? It, it's blasphemy. It's an abomination. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. He ain't whiffing that. Okay? You only go, you know what he's doing with his nose to that? He gonna blow it. You know how when he sneezes, ha choo. And all that comes out, right? See the little mist come out? He gonna sneeze out his anger on that. He ain't, no, nah, uh-uh, that, nah, that's thanks to him. He gonna send, nigga, he gonna send a sword down on them, okay? The reason why they got it so good right now, they could do their wickedness and prosper in it because it's their kingdom, okay? He made them the sword against us because we didn't keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Right? Let me get 2nd Ezra chapter 14. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. This is Second Ezra chapter fourteen, verse sixteen. Okay, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter okay verse 17 for look how much the world shall be weaker through age so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein okay it's only gonna get worse and worse it's only getting worse and worse okay but we hey it running out of time here running out of time we got to get right okay uh, and this is for the elect, man. We ain't talking about the whole nation of Israel. We ain't no unity camp, man. We're a faith-based faith camp, okay? Okay? Straight from the scriptures of the, of the Bible, okay? Sound doctrine, okay? The doctrine of Yahweh Shai. The doctrine of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay? Through his prophets, okay? Through his disciples and his prophets, the true prophets of the Lord, okay? That's just it, man. Let me get Psalm 37. Psalm chapter 37. I might be able to read the whole thing. I wanted to read the whole book of 2nd Ezra chapter 14, but if it's the Lord's will, you know, I'll go ahead and uh I'll go ahead and do a uh a, a, a video. Just the whole 2nd Ezra chapter 14 reading. You know, if it's the Lord's will, you know. <clears throat> this is second um uh, in Salaka. This is Psalm chapter 37 and verse 7. It says, rest in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and wait patiently for him. Okay? We're supposed to rest in his holy days, man. It says, rest on the holy day. Okay? Those are the, the, the holidays we're supposed to keep. You know, the Sabbath. Okay? We got holidays every every week. Okay? We got holidays every month. We ain't got to do no Christmas or none of that, man. He'll provide for us if we do that, man. I mean, he, we got to do what's pleasing to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. I don't want to go off. Rest in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. That's what I'm saying, man. We following after their ways and doing what they do, okay? And we ain't prospering. Everything you put your hand to do, okay? I, I gotta go back. I'll come back. I'll come right back. Deuteronomy 28 and 64, I believe. Okay. Let me see. No, I think it's like uh, 15. So lock it. Just bear with me real quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it Deuteronomy chapter 28? And I'll start. I'll start at verse 19. Okay. Because when you not keep the law, statutes. Commandments here. I'll, I'll read 15 first. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, thy power, 
or thy Allah Hayyam, which Allah Hayyam means, uh, Allah means power, right? Hayya means to be. Okay? And with the Yam at the end makes it plural. It's talking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? So, it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rukrakadash, which is thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all his curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. But verse 19, right? Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall be when thou goest out. Hey, wherever you go, go this way. Oh, run into a brick wall. Oh, you go this way. Oh, run off the hill. Okay. This is the this is the path right here. You see this? This is the path. See that? It's narrow. Okay. Broad is the way to leave to damnation. Okay. Narrow is the way to the straight gate. Okay, with that in Sirach, in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says that the way is like, you know, uh, uh, it is a narrow way, right? I'm roughly paraphrasing, okay? If you go this way, it's a fire on that side. If you go this way, it's a deep cliff on that side, okay? And only a child can make it through, right? So, yeah, man, you got to be a child of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You got to be obedient. You got to do what's pleasing, Okay? When your kid is doing good and stuff, you know, you please with him. Like, yeah, man, I'm going to do this for my kid, man. I'm I'm, I'm going to get him what he want. I'm, I'm going to get him this PlayStation 17, whatever. Okay? You know, I'm just saying, you know, don't quote me on that. But you know what I'm saying. Let's go back to uh, Psalms 37 and 7. Okay? This is Psalms chapter 37 and verse 7. Okay? Rest in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. What? You hear that? Y'all know the script, okay? Be not uh, deceived of, uh, 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 of, of, his, of the devil's devices. Roughly paraphrasing, okay? Okay? Don't be deceived by devices, man. Okay, yeah, man, take this welfare check, you know. Okay. No father in the house. Okay. They doing all this, causing all this noise right now. We ain't falling for that. Okay. We got Israelites want to come out and say something now. Okay. But we got the elders and apostles and bishops and brethren of Great Millstone who've been delivering this. Okay. Now, the good part about this is, you know, and I, and I forgot to say this on the other video I did the other day, you know, when I was speaking about Mr. West. The good thing about it is that some people, they heard it through Kanye West or these other wicked ass Israelites that are doing all this wickedness, okay? All these uh, uh, ones with all this money, okay? Hey, they're going to fall into the hands of Great Millstone, man, the truth. They're going to fall into the truth, man, the true truth, okay? And the only camp that's delivering the true truth is Great Millstone, period, okay? And there's a lot of people that done left IUIC, ISUPK, ICG, whatever, all that, all that. Okay? Troop Nation, all these camps, right? I used to follow Troop Nation. I used to I used to be with Sons of Jacob. I wasn't part of the camp, but I was under an elder there, you know. Kind of got me in this truth, too. Okay? But, you know, blessed is he who reads. Okay? That's why you got to read. Really coming to the truth. That's why, okay. Some people really, you know, they believe in white Jesus still, man. They hear Kanye West say this or Kyrie say that, you know. And they really come into this truth, man. They come on home, man, with the true prophets of the Lord, man. It teaches 100% truth according to the Bible. Okay? With that being said, I'm going to give one more scripture, you know, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. You know, it's the main message, man. All that trick-or-treating and stuff, trying to have fun here and, and, and save up your wealth here, man. It's saying our rest stop, okay? And I'll get one more through the Spirit, okay? This is Micah, the book of the prophet Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye, get up, right? Kwam Yashirala, right? Arise ye and depart. Depart, what does it mean, depart? It doesn't mean go pack up your stuff and go move to Africa or, uh, you know, move to wherever, you know, out this country, Mexico, Cuba, whatever. It don't mean that. It means get get your mind up out of here, man. Get your heart out of this place, man. Okay? 
some people got a gang of money, man, don't want to let it go. Okay? And, and they're going to, you know, lose it all anyway. They're going to go They're gonna go through hell. Okay? Hey, man, only through the eye of a needle, man. Rich man ain't getting in there. The poor man is. Okay? Now, we got brothers that got dollars, some, some dollars, a dollar or two. Okay? They stick in this truth. They stand in this truth, man. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Okay? It ain't talking about laying down and getting some sleep in. Okay? It's talking about this is not the final stop, man. This is nothing but a test, man. You got to gotta go through it, man. Got to go through the motions. Because it is polluted. This place is polluted, man. It shall destroy you. Even with the sword destruction. I mean, to the utmost destruction okay utmost okay you're gonna get fucked up out here man let me get this uh uh lay treasure yeah call like y'all watching me i was shy man okay this is matthew chapter 6 verse 19 Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt. Now, what did that last scripture just say? Okay. It's polluted, right? Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart. This is not your rest because it is polluted, right? And what do this say? Hey, man. man. All praise to the Heavenly Father in the name of, you know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Because that's the spirit right there. Yeah, these precepts come back full circle. That's why we read the, the scriptures precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Okay? It comes back. Okay? Lay not up for yourself treasure upon this earth. Okay? Don't rest here, man. Don't get comfortable here, man. This ain't it. Okay? Take the little huh, bruised ribs and, you know, the black eye. <laughs> Take the black eye. Okay? Uh, what's that game? Uh, P-Knuckle, the card game. You know, you... you you get set, it's kind of like uh, spades, you know, but when you get set and you don't make your hand or something, you know, it's called a black eye or something like, oh, no, if you don't have any milk, you know, you get a black eye. Man, take the black eye, okay? Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Who's the thief, okay? Who's the thief, right? That old serpent. Verse 20. Matthew chapter 6, verse 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. You see that? So, man, with that being said, I hope that was edifying to the hopeful elect, okay? I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakrakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. They deliver this 100% truth according to the Bible. Okay? Peace, salutations, and safety to you. Okay? Shalom.